Hello students. In this video, we're going to give a simple example of how to compute the area of a parallelogram spanned by two vectors. So remember from the parallelogram law that if I have two vectors, u and v, then here's u and here's v, then to compute the sum, for example, of u plus v, what we do is we take a vector parallel to u, we take a vector parallel to v to form the legs of a parallelogram, and then we draw the diagonal that way, and that would be <coughs> u plus v. And likewise, if we were to connect this diagonal, that would, if we're going up in this direction, it would be v minus u, and if we were going down in this direction, it would be u minus v. So there are these parallelograms associated with vectors and it's very fruitful to think of these parallelograms quite often. It shows up quite a bit in linear algebra and multivariable calculus. Now if we want to calculate the area of P then what we do is we consider the components of U which are U1 and U2 and the components of V which we'll call V1 and V2. This is in a, a, the plane so we'll think of this as two-dimensional vectors then you just simply calculate the determinant of the matrix whose columns are the vectors u and v. And if I set it up this way, then I'll have the column u1, u2, which is this vector, so the column formed from u, and then the column v1, v2, which is the column formed from the vector v. And then if I calculate the determinants, we'll have u1, v2 minus v1, u2. And that will give us the area of the parallelogram. Now, keep in mind that this is a signed area if I just leave it like this, in this form. Because the determinant may not necessarily be greater than 0. It might be less than 0. Let me give you an example. If you wanted to find the area of a parallelogram spanned by the, uh, these two vectors, 2, 3, and 4, 5. Now, it depends on how I compute this determinant. If I stack the first column with the vector u and I get 2, 3, and I stack the second column with the vector v, 4, 5, then when I calculate the determinant, it'll be 2 times 5 minus 4 times 3. I'll have 10 minus 12 and I'll have minus 2. So it, you have to be clear on the question if you want the signed area. If you don't, then you would say, oh, the area is the absolute value of that determinant, and then the unsigned area would be 2. Notice that if I were to calculate the determinant by swapping these columns, if I were to take 4, 5 first, and then 2, 3, this number would come out positive. So swapping columns changes the sign of the the determinant. Now give that a try as a little exercise for yourself. Just put a 4, 5 here and a 2, 3 here and then just calculate determinant. You'll see that you get a positive 2 there. So be careful that you're clear on what your instructor is asking you if they want signed or unsigned area. Uh, typically when you're calculating the area of a parallelogram the assumption is that it's an unsigned area and you're gonna take the um, absolute value of the resulting determinant. All right. Well, anyways, that is how you calculate the area of a parallelogram spanned by two two-dimensional vectors. Okay, good luck.